What's going on guys and welcome to episode number three of my Bradford City career mode and in this episode we will finally get to being into this series and finally getting out of the first two series and simming them and playing and getting our transfers done and everything and as you can see our season's budget is 3.4 million which is pretty good for a league two side and we, our board wants us to gain automatic promotion, which shouldn't be a problem, hopefully. And then uh, Domestic Cup, as usual, round of 32. And then we have a transfer offer for Billy Knott for 700k. We do try to bump this up to 850k. Because if they're going to pay 700k for a 23-year-old, eh, they can go a little bit more. And now our U squad monthly update. We have a couple good players, and everywhere, everybody is from a different place and looking pretty decent after that May update, which hopefully won't lower their potentials too much, or not their potentials, their overalls too much. As you can see, there's our tr we have transfer listed a lot of people to get rid of, like Billy Knott for, we're trying to get rid of him for 850k again to Elche. And now Peterborough came back with an 800k uh, transfer offer for Billy Knott again, but I said let's stick to that 850. And now Elche have decided to go ahead with the deal, and so did some other club for some other guy. And now Elliot Barker is going to Sligo Rovers for 20k, and McBurney is going to Saint Min Marin for 130k. And Morias is going for 130k to a random club from a random place, and McBurney has been sold. And in this episode, that it will only be transfer and stuff, and as and uh, youth academy stuff. And we did fire a scout right there, hoping to buy a better one. And but I'm just gonna go back and say this will not be a totally long or a really long episode about it. it'll be like four minutes which you guys will see already and as you can see we did sell Billy Knott and now Irwin is going to Bray Wanderers for 30k and now Rory McArdle we're trying to get a lot of money for him because we do want to get by a really good scout which we hopefully will be able to and as you can see another uh, monthly report and we do release Signorini right there and we do release Schwarzer and we key, we offer a contract to Mendoa, I think. Actually, we just keep him and then we release him. <laughs> Not good enough. And Al Nubi, we do release. And Molina is our only guy in the squad. But now you can see our youth squads are going out. Our guys are going out. And the Croatian guy will go to... Not quite sure. It's been a while since I've done this. So, uh, youth cat or youth squad. I think we send him to like Denmark. Yep, Denmark. Okay, we send him to Denmark, and then we try to hire another scout, which we can't because we don't have enough money yet. So Alan Sheehan, we want to get as much money as we can possible, so we can uh, sign that other scout. And now we do have a couple offers for Lewis Clarkson. And we already have an offer for one of our Youth Academy players, Kristen Tello, which I will not accept because I feel like he's already worth 400 and 600k as our board said. So that, um, he looks like a good player. And that is the end of the episode. I will see you in the next episode where we will start playing matches against our first match is against Tranmere Rovers. Until next time, see ya.